You know, technology has so vastly changed the world that, that we live in. And hunting is no different. There's been a lot of advancements there. And I look at what Garmin Zero has done to be able to range your animals or your targets out there and create a better accuracy. And their new site has really defined how to set it up to make it even better. And this site is, is the most intuitive of the Garmin Zero sites as far as I'm concerned because the setup process is totally different. You've got more mechanical options to be able to dial in, pinpoint accuracy. You're able to tell it how fast your bow's shooting so it can help set and speed up some of the process. And the entire screen, it all built everything in together for me. So technologically, I'm just shooting a phenomenal setup this year, but you always have to remember in bow hunting, and really in anything, you can have the highest technology in the world, but the human still got to control his motions. He's still got to perform at that time of everything going down. Let's see how easy it is to navigate through the Zero A1i Pro's menu for a seamless setup. So the very first step in this new setup process is to get that 20 yard pin set. So we're gonna go and start that process. There's been a lot of UI changes or UI improvements. So here's some of those graphical displays of what we call the reticle. So if you're off of that reticle a little bit, really all you need to do is make those pitch and yaw adjustments to move that reticle into piece. But the side itself is gonna walk us through each one of those pieces step by step. And there's a nice graphical display of it. So here our grouping's hitting a little bit low um, and we're prompted in the, uh, the side itself is, did, your, did the arrow hit the bullseye? So we're gonna say no. Um, and now it's actually giving us specific knobs to turn. So um, because we're in this initial like setup, we're just gonna be, this first part of the setup, it's just moving the up and down and left and right. So it's asking us um, to adjust the up and down. So, because we're low, we actually need to chase that arrow and drop our sight down just slightly. So here with the micro adjust, I can just kind of roll through and drop that down just a little bit. So again, it kind of stepped me through exactly telling me, you know, which knob to turn there. So it gave me, you know, specifically um, this top knob and told me kind of to, to chase that arrow and drop the sight down. So now I'm at the point where I need to set back to that 20 yards and see if we come back up to where we need to be. All right, so that one hit dead center. So we're gonna go ahead and tell it that we hit the bullseye there. So at this point, we've got at least the standard left and right and up and down complete because we've set that 20 yard pin. To do the reticle alignment, we're gonna use what we call the pitch and the yaw. So there's gonna be two curved adjustments that we need to make here. One, where we move the housing itself on a curved axis this way, and another one here where we actually pivot this way left and right. So to do that, it's actually projecting the reticle there um, in the housing itself. I'm gonna go ahead and knock an arrow and draw back and see where I'm at in the reticle. So again, that reticle is essentially a big circle out in space with a bunch of arrows pointing at it. All those arrows are little tools letting me know what direction I need to make this next movement to get that pin, the red pin, directly in the middle of that circle. All right, so the reticle, when I drew back the circle itself, uh, my red dot is sitting right on the, the just the bottom edge. I'm really close to being where I need to be there. So um, basically what I need to do is I need to um, use the, this adjustment here just to help swing that reticle right into place. So again, we can use those micro adjusts. I do need to lose some set screw for it. So when I draw back this time, that reticle should be basically that red dot. And what your goal here again is to get the red dot right in the middle of the green circle with those arrows on the outside all pointing right towards it. All right, where adjustment we made there is perfect. I'm gonna let down. All right. So again here, I can show you some screenshots that I've been discussing that really just help make that overall setup um, more easy. So here's calling out the specific um, kind of angled left and right and up and down knobs that you need to adjust to get that reticle aligned. 
As we just walked through, we went through and the reticle is aligned after that one adjustment. So now we're gonna stay in back to about 20 yards, this is where we're at. So we, since we did make one small adjustment there, we just wanna make sure that we're still on at 20. So our adjustment on that last one was so small that we don't really need to go back and make anything else adjust there because our reticle's aligned and we confirm that that 20 yard pin is still on. So now we've got our, our 20 yard range set up. So we're actually gonna go through and just use the bow speed. I've, I've shot it through the chrono a few times this uh, past month or so. So I know it's shooting you know, right around that 280 mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. So um, it's prompting me for what's my arrow diameter. So if you're shooting skinnier arrows, I've got a standard diameter arrow here. All right, so now that I've gone through and I've entered in that uh, bow speed, it's gonna have me back up to 40 yards to validate that the calculated pin stack is accurate. After firing off that final arrow, Brandon was able to confirm that the calculated pin stack was accurate and his Zero A1i Pro was ready to go. The latest generation of the Garmin Zero is once again changing the way avid archery hunters can hit the fields and remove any doubt when they put that reticle on their target. To get your hands on the Garmin Zero A1i Pro, head on over to Garmin.com.